Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of NintendoFuse.com's Industry Talk. I'm your host, Barry, and today I'm joined by a very special guest. This is Mike Harris of M. Harris Games. Hey, guys. How's, how's it going? You you actually uh, went to Play NYC 2019. I did not get the pleasure of meeting you there. You're one of the... I didn't get a chance to get everybody, but you were there... Um, what what brought you there? Like, where did you start up? I started going to some of the playcrafting events a couple of years ago, and uh, I eventually took um, that Unity course. You, you might have seen they, they advertised this uh, eight-week Unity course, and that's kind of where I started there. Um, and at the end of that, there's like a final project you have to do. So I wanted to make this kind of first-person shooter game, and... Uh, at the end of the class, the teacher was uh, Sam. I don't, I don't know if you've ever met Sam. Um, I kind of encouraged everybody to take their projects and show them off at some of the smaller playcrafting events. Um, so I got into doing that. I started doing pretty much every one I could do. And then eventually when Play NYC started up, I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll give that a shot. And uh, So I was, at, I was at the one last year. Um, and just kind of followed it up by going this year. How how did that work for you? Like, was was it a positive experience? Yeah, it was great. This year uh, actually kind of shocked me because um, <clears throat> I don't know if it was because I had a good a good placement at, at the convention or um, uh, or because of some of the new artwork we've been putting in. But um, I had a lot of a lot of really good interest. A lot of I had a line like pretty much all day, both days. <laughs> Um, uh, I had a, a couple people like, like yourself, uh, want to, you know, kind of talk to me about it and uh, kind of like an interview setting. Um, so it's really cool. I had, uh, somebody podcast about the game too. That was a big first. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's been great since then. That's fantastic to hear. Yeah. Now you do have a, a couple different games you have, uh, on your website, um, I'm assuming you made these before the one you showed off, which we'll get to. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a Space Invaders clone. You've got a Scramble, which is a 3D uh, side-scrolling shooter, and mm -hmm. you've got a Space Shooter, which is a top-down, very reminiscent of Asteroids. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about those three projects. Yeah, so when I was just starting off learning Unity, they they t usually tell you like make make small games, make like clones, stuff like that. So that's where um, that's where like Scramble came from. That's where um, uh, what was the other? Oh, the Asteroids game. Uh, it was just kind of like me taking these old games and uh, figuring out how to make them and then kind of tweaking them a little bit. Yeah, so it, it was just, it was all just like small learning projects. And then uh, the latest one has been like, all right, let's try to do something unique. Yes. Now, all three of those games, you said they are clones. They're very... Um old school clones but then you get to your your current project which is a game called running gun running gun is a multiplayer first person shooter it allows you to run on walls it's networked and and that's really cool so how did this come about talk about this uh yeah so basically um we had this final project for this unity course and i was trying to think of what i really wanted to make and uh i'm a huge gamer so throughout the years i've had I, I, I'd like play these games and I'd be like, wow, I really wish this game, like a uh, uh, perfect example is um, Mirror's Edge. Okay. Uh, Mirror's Edge was a, was a game that was all about ru wall running and parkour and all that crazy stuff. But in the game, they kind of like, uh, they discouraged you from using weapons. So it was like, it was all about the free running. So I was like, wow, I'd really like to see what this game was with weapons, like like this would work really well as a first person shooter. Um, and then a couple of years later, Titanfall came out. So I was like, oh, well, somebody did it already. But um, anyway, the, the whole point was I was trying to think of something I really wanted to make. And I always had this idea of this really arcadey first person shooter where you could run in the walls. And that's kind of where Running Gun started. Um, just kind of dove into it and trying to figure out how everything works, you know. It's a really interesting concept, and it looks really cool. Um, how far along are you? Are you are you finished with this? Are you gonna improve on this? Is this is this gonna be expanded upon? What? what, what uh, I definitely want to improve it. Um, I <laughs> I'm constantly um, 
this is kind of like this is the first game that I really want to like put out into the world and release and like stamp my name on it. And uh, so it's been uh, from that respect, it's been a very big learning experience. And I'm always iterating on things. I'm always changing things. So so to answer that more directly, it, it's probably still really on in the early f stages. I still have a lot of like I have a long Google Doc of all these different ideas I have, but um, I'm kind of at the point now, I've been, I've been working on this for a while, where I'm trying to cut down that list a little bit, So um, because eventually I want the game to launch. I don't want to be working on it for the rest <laughs> of my life. So, um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of things I still want to do, but uh, how many of those I get to is going to depend on... Um, you know, eventually when I when I want to put the game out, you know, not not every game can be perfect. So yeah. you could also save some stuff for the sequel, right? <laughs> True. <laughs> now, now, uh, are you, is this only going to be multiplayer? I know it's multiplayer focused right now, but are you going to look into single player or do some single player stuff? Or um, so I I, I was focused. I, I really wanted to focus on multiplayer, um, just because uh. I don't think I could do like a full single player and a, a whole multiplayer back end at the same time. I just think that's going to take way too long. Um, but I prob I've been thinking about having some single player things in there, like um, like maybe like an obstacle course or like a time trial thing, and definitely at least like a, a tutorial or something to show people. Some people have a hard time picking up on the wall running mechanics if they haven't seen it before. So um, so probably probably something small like that, but mostly multiplayer. Yeah, see, as you mentioned Titanfall, now you're definitely following in Titanfall's footsteps where the first one was multiplayer only and the second one added single-player content. Right. Is M. Harris Games just you, or do you have a team right now as well? Uh, so it's mostly me. I have um, two uh, 3D artists who have been helping me I, uh, that I kind of bring on as like uh, uh, freelancers. But uh, other than that, I do... Uh, I do all the coding, um, uh, all the design, all that stuff. It's pretty much just me. So, yeah, it's a one-man army kind of deal. Yeah. You know what? You know, some some great games have come out that have been one-man armies. Uh, the one I usually refer to uh, a lot is Dust and Ecclesian Tale. Uh, truly phenomenal game. Um, I want to see you hit that level because I think you could. From everything I saw from Run and Gun, it looks great. I'm not a first-person shooter person, I will admit it. I was as a kid. Now it starts giving me vertigo and especially right. the rotating camera. I know this is available right now to download the multiplayer mm -hmm. server uh, on, on your site. Um, is this going to be only PC? Or are you, you going to look into bringing this to consoles or... Um, if I, if I can get it on console, I'd love that. Um, I, I don't know exactly the, the process that is, um, that like, I, I don't know how to start that process really. Um, I have a couple of friends like, um, who I could talk to about that, but, um, probably just PC for now, but if I can get it on a console, I'd love it. That's a, that's a dream of mine to have a, a game on console. So, and you know what? Don't don't ever stop chasing that dream because yeah. I think this this could um, many many you know multiplayer first person shooters have have flourished on consoles, yeah, um, you know especially with that that free to play model. I mean look at things battle royale like Fortnite and that's third person, but still you know like games like that, well over Overwatch and and uh, Paladins and stuff like that. Right. Um, there's absolutely a market for this right now, and. What are some ideas you want to do with this to, to differentiate? So if, if I'm going to the store and I say, all right, let's see, I'm looking for a multiplayer first-person shooter, and there's there's all these games, and, and Run and Gun is in that list of games. What mm -hmm. what What's coming? What are things you want to add for me to go, oh, my God, that's the one. That's the one I have to play. Because I only sure. have so many hours a day. You know? <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so like, like I said before, I want it to be uh, – like a little more arcade style than a traditional like like Titanfall. So it, currently in my game, you have a lot of uh, aerial movement. So if you ever played like uh, Smash Brothers or something, if you jump and you're heading in one direction, 
you can hold the other direction, hit jump again, and it kind of completely changes your momentum, so you can kind of like bounce back and forth. So my game has a very sim similar uh, momentum shift. So if you're if you're running on the wall, you jump off, and it launches you at an angle. You can kind of turn and aim yourself, and you hit the double jump, and it'll completely rotate your momentum. So you can almost turn 360 degrees around. Uh, so because of that, you can really use it to bounce off of everything. Like you can jump off a wall and, and turn around, jump back onto it and run the other way. Um, so something like that could separate it from uh, other similar first person shooters. Um, I also have a lot of ideas like uh, uh, to kind of set you up ver vertical. So like, uh, like a jump pad or something, like maybe like a little pad on the ground, you run, you hit it and it launches you up in the air. Um, I've also have been thinking about this mechanic where uh, either sprinting or wall running kind of like charges you up and maybe you have like this meter on, on the bottom and uh, maybe the more you do it, you fill up this meter and uh, you'll get like a, a damage bonus if it's, if it's full or um, maybe, maybe some other kind of bonus. Uh, these, are, these are still kind of things I'm playing around with, but... Um, yeah, stuff like that. Um, the uh, I'm hoping the art style sticks out a little bit. Um, I'm a huge fan of uh, like that Tron art style with the, the glowy lines and everything. Um, so we're hoping to build some of that out in the coming, uh, you know, over the next year or so. What else? A couple of different weapons I'm adding. Um, but yeah, mostly just that. It's the the good thing about this is. Um, because I'm mostly working by myself, I'm not really held to a deadline. Like I kind of impose my own deadline. Um, so there's good and bad things about that. The bad thing is uh, it takes longer and longer, but the, the good thing is I have a lot of spare time to play around with some of this stuff. So a, a lot of times I'll just play and I'll be like, oh, you know, it would be good, um, you know, a, a jump pad or, or something. And I have that time to play around with before I decide if that's something I really want to get in or, um, so you, you have definitely more of a freedom of thinking of these ideas. So it's like, like an active iterative process, I guess. Absolutely. No, that, those all sound excellent. And yeah, the art style is one thing that did draw me to it. Uh, there was another digital only, uh, I think it was on the Wii U, uh, first person shooter. I forget the name of it now. I'm sure someone will be like, oh, it's that silly. Um, but that, again, I didn't play it cause I'm not a first person shooter guy, but the art style is really what drew me in. Now, what about characters? Have you thought about that? Like making the multiple different kinds of crazy characters you can choose from? I've had, um, I've had a lot of people suggest that to me and I have thought about it a little bit. Um, to me, it's one of those things. Uh, if it's kind of like, if I have the time kind of, kind of thing. Um, but I've definitely thought about it because that, that it helps in a lot of respects to having a customizable character. Like pe people said to me, Oh, like, what if you can change their clothes out or like, or the color or, um, or, or like a hero system even is popular nowadays, you know, because of Overwatch. Um, I'm not sure that that's something I'm thinking about doing right now. Uh, but it's definitely like in the back of my head always. So it's mostly, it's a trade off of what I think I can get done in a reasonable time <laughs> to get the game to launch. So it's not that like, a lot of these things I think are great ideas, but it, um, I just, being a one person team, I can't like, I can't do everything. I'd love to though. You mean you, you can't? Oh, come <laughs> on. I'm sure you can. <laughs> yeah. I mean, some, some people, it, it, I, I, it would be great if I could, but, um, I, I'd, I'd love to have a game with all of those things and it's certainly a great idea, but, um, it's, it's mostly like, can I, can I get to it in a reasonable time? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what about weapons now? Um, are you, do you have only traditional weapons? Or are you going to do something crazy like, you know, Turok Cerebral Boar or something like that? <laughs> or or um, Saints Row has a bunch of weird weapons, too. Yeah, I, so right now on the list is uh, kind of the traditional pistol, shotgun, sniper, um, uh, assault rifle, and um, probably like a rocket launcher. Uh, as like the as like the kind of like a hidden weapon on the map uh, that you have to fight over. Um, 
I ha- I did have an idea I written on written on my doc about a um so there's so there's two actually. I had an idea this kind of ties into that wall running meter that I was telling you about earlier of like um a weapon that was kind of like a ball and uh the more the more you wall run so basically you would throw the ball and it would bounce off all these surfaces and it would leave a trail. Like I, I don't know if you've played like those old Tron cycle games. Yes. Yeah, where you like, leave this trail, and the point is to like uh, cut somebody off so that they hit your trail and then they blow up. Uh, so that, that's kind of the idea with this ball. You throw the ball, it bounces off the the different surfaces, and it leaves this trail behind. And maybe if somebody's wall running, you can like throw the ball ahead of them, and it would bounce off, and then they could run into the trail, and it would hurt them or or uh, blow them up. So uh, that's kind of an idea I've had. Um, I've also had an idea of like a uh, kind of this weapon that shoots like geometry out so you could uh, so you could like shoot out a, a small wall if there's like a gap that you can't get across you could shoot this wall out uh, that kind of floats in the middle of the air and then you could wall run along it like to make your own paths almost um, cool. or if somebody was wall running you could shoot a wall in front of them like to block them so they, <laughs> they just like get stuck um, that co- the dynamic geometry like that is a problem that has people have run into a lot in most games. So it's not an easy problem to solve. So I haven't really jumped into that yet. But uh, if that, I, I always thought that'd be a cool idea to play around with the mechanics. Absolutely. I mean, anyone who's ever played New Super Mario Brothers U on the Wii U will tell you making the platforms and trolling people is half the fun of that game. So, <laughs> I mean, you can you can certainly utilize that. In fact, that that sounds exciting. That sounds yeah. like something like I'd be interested in, in giving that even a go because right. there's something unique about it. Right. And and I I love I, I think uh, was a Red Faction Armageddon tried to do things like that and. And although that game failed, it, it was a different. It wasn't because of that. Right. And I think that would be something unique. Now, is is the name Run and Gun? Is that what you're going with as the final thing? I know it's obviously what you're doing, or you're gonna, you know, brand it your own thing. You know. Um, that's what I've been calling it. If another name pops into my head, maybe I'll change it. But I'm I'm so, I'm bad at naming things, I guess. <laughs> so uh, when when I first started working on it, I was just like. Uh, run and gun, you know, the, and the, the cool thing is there's also a, um, there's also a, an ability in Titanfall, I believe called run and gun, which allows you to shoot while you're sprinting. So I thought that was kind of, in my game, you can do that as well. So I thought, I don't know, it was kind of a, a little nod to it, but, um, yeah, I guess the short answer is for now, it'll just be run and gun unless I think of something else. So I, I think that's the final name, but if I come up with a cooler name, Maybe I'll change it over. It, it definitely is a cool name. Um, and I'm certainly excited to see where you go. I mean, a lot of these ideas, I know it's hard. I know, uh, especially one man. Um, but you, you do have a lot of ambition, and that is yeah. good. That's what's needed. Um, so what, what it, you said you, you put your own kind of time frames on things. You set your own deadlines. What is your deadline for you to just, you know what, that's I'm done, done. Let's work on running gun two or or something else. What what is your self imposed deadline? So it <laughs> it it was uh it, it was late next year uh, I was shooting for, but the more this year like it's already it's already the end of September. Yep. Um, I'm already in this case like oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Um, the 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 biggest problem here is I uh, I have a full time job so I it's very much like a part-time thing. I would love to work on it full-time. That's like my dream to, to do the full-time thing. But um, so because of that, like the amount of hours I get to work on it in the week is very variable. Um, you know, just life things pop up. Um, uh, so that's what I'm shooting for right now. Sometime late next year. Uh, I honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it takes longer than that. Um, and, and it's not uh, like, uh, it's not like a laziness thing. Like it, it's, it's just like, um, it's, it's making games is hard, man. <laughs> yes. No, there's, there's no, no, 
uh, that about it. it yeah. Making games is hard, and everything you've done is is already very impressive, especially knowing it's it's mainly just you. From everything I've seen, there's a lot of positives about this. There's a there's a lot of good stuff already in the game, and there's a lot of promise with everything you've said. Like, oh man, like this this game. You, I don't like first person shooters, and you started getting me excited with the whole creating walls and making your own platforms, right. and that's hard to do. So that that is awesome, and I'm so looking forward to that. Uh, anything you'd like to just leave off? Anything to the people who may be interested? You know, say hey, why why should they try running gun even right now in its earlier state? And sure. Um... Yeah, I mean, to me, it's uh, it's like you said, it's all about passion, it's all about ambition. So, this is uh, this is a game I'm I, I work very hard on. I want it to be uh, the I want it to be the best that it can be. I want this to be like my thing I put out into the world and stamp my name on. So, for for people that want to try it, um, you know, it's uh, it's on my website for free. Uh, it it'll remain free until it gets to the point where. Um, I'm looking to put it up on Steam or something, probably very late in development. Um, but yeah, this is like, this is this is the fun thing I do. You know, this is like, um, if, if you're just looking to have fun, jump around the wall. Like even me, I find myself, uh, when I'm testing the game, just bouncing off the walls. Just uh, everybody who seems to get into the wall running mechanics really likes it. So if you're into that fast pace, um, Something that's a little bit different from a traditional FPS. Um, hopefully, over the next uh, year or so, I'll be separating it a little more. But um, maybe give Running Gun a try, or if you're uh, out at some of the playcrafting events if, and you want to give it a try too, I'll be there. Speaking of, when is the next event that you will be at? Playcrafting has a Halloween expo every year, right before Halloween, and it's free, so that's that's always great. So I should be there. That's awesome. <laughs> yep. So. For everybody that's interested, if you say, hey, run and gun, it sounds like something I want to give a try, you can go to mharrisgames.com right now. You can download it and give it a try, and I urge you to do that. Uh, you could also check out Mike's other games at mharrisgames.com. If you're part of the Nintendo Fuse Discord, Mike is actually part of that as well. So if you like to say, hey, I tried run and gun and reach out to him, um, more, more than welcome to do that there, and hopefully you uh, do decide to join our Discord as well. Mike, thank you so much for joining us today. No, thank you, man. This is uh, I, I greatly appreciate you. Like I said, this is the first time I'm getting real interest about the game, so uh, I, I greatly appreciate everything. Absolutely. Now remember, for all your Nintendo news and other gaming news, go to NintendoFuse.com. Subscribe to our YouTube where videos like this, other industry talks, our podcasts, our reviews, a bunch of content is there. Again, go to our Discord. The link will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and see you next time. See you.